all right guys what is up back with another video today hope you guys are doing good in this video i'll be talking about mullen automotive ticker symbol m-u-l-n ticker symbol m-u-l-n i know i had a lot of you guys asking about this one and i know a lot of you guys want updates on this one so i'll be giving you guys all new buying levels that i'll be looking at resistance levels every key level that i'm looking at for tomorrow here you go ticker symbol m-u-l-n so make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you are new and then I'll tell you something that I'm seeing happening that could be a little pattern on Mullen also. So like I said, if you appreciate these updates, let's get this video over 100 likes. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget, make sure you get your buy and sell signals. First link in the description. It's also pinned in the comments to know where I'm buying and selling for options and shares. As you guys know, we already played this one once for over a 27% gain. So if you don't want to miss those entries, because sometimes I, I enter below these levels, this was our first play we had right here. This is where we entered, and this is where we exit. This was our first play that I left on here. And I told you guys, on that fourth day, we could be seeing that push. And what do we get today? We got the push, okay? I try to help you guys as much as I can in these videos. I told you guys on the fourth day, which is today, we might see that push. The only thing is, it never pulled down to my buying level. It kind of started going up, start moving uh, after market and pre-market. And then today, of course, went higher. But something that did happen is, let's go ahead and go over it. Also, if you want a free share of NEO while NEO is going crazy, make sure you get your Momo account, second link in the description, because when you deposit any amount and you get your Momo account with the second link in the description, you also get a free share of NEO. So don't forget to get that. So look at our resistance levels. Okay, I took the buying level off. Look at what the resistance level acted as. Support. Buying pressure actually came off this resistance level. Right? That is bullish. Came back down. Resistance holding that support. Pushed up. Came up here, resistance came, broke it, almost fell back through it, tested that support, went higher, testing that support again. So a lot of movement is going in the ticker symbol MULN. I know people have price targets of like about like $10 and stuff and stuff like that. But what I want to be playing is I want to be playing it play by play. And then we can work our way up to that $10 mark, right? We already had one play and it's moving again. Now, the pattern that it's been having is it's been moving, stalling out for three days, and on the fourth day, it's been moving again. So we had a move, one, two, three, fourth day, move. We had the move, stalled out, one, two, three, fourth day, move. So what I'm looking for is I'm kind of looking for some stall out right now. And the buying level that I'm looking for it to kind of pull back to, because if you tell in here, the pullback ranges, the first range was about 34% pullback. This range was about 27% pullback. And to the prices that is at now, if we want to pull, oh, you can't see it. Let me zoom out a little bit. So with the pullback that we want now, we'll be right at about a 24% pullback. Because something that you noticed also, the pullbacks that it have is getting smaller. So this was about 34. This one was about 27. So the buying level that I want now is actually right around $2, which would be even a smaller pullback to about 24% pullback. So a lot of strategic type of moves going into that in these type of plays. That's why I say if you guys appreciate it, make sure you smash that like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. I really appreciate it. And it motivates me to keep updating on you guys if you guys smash that like button. Okay, that's all I ask. Smash that like button for me in this video. So buying level $2. Now, with the exit, we could get some big gains off of that move, but we will need that pullback, okay? We don't want to be trying to chase price, especially on this one, because it has the tendency to kind of stall out. And we don't, we don't want to be really trapped. Potential 60% profit. 60% profit. That's what I'm looking at currently. So depending on what today does, um, if it doesn't move too much out of this range, uh, this will probably be good for today. But tomorrow, depending on where it opens, this buying level might change. But for now, $2 is that buying level. So if you guys do want to update on this one, just comment update in the comment section below. So I know you guys want that. But for now, watch these two levels, buying level at $2, exiting at $320. Watch for that stall out. It does have a pattern of that. And then on those fourth days, we can kind of get those runs. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation of buyer so anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.